the C-Max's basic LCD shows the rear camera view, surprisingly sophisticated with trajectory lines, along with music and phone options. Despite the tiny screen, I could view the music library from my iPhone, plugged into the car's single USB port, and make selections using buttons on the dashboard. Ford also offers good voice command, which let me request specific artists or make phone calls by saying a contact's name. This base system also integrates over 30 third-party apps, such as Spotify and Pandora. However, I still would have preferred Sync 3 with its 8-inch touchscreen in the C-Max. Likewise, this SE trim C-Max was painfully short on driver assistance features. Ford offers a driver assist package at the SE trim, but that means a power lift gate rather than adaptive cruise control. On the titanium trim, Ford's 301A package includes a blind spot monitor system and automated parallel parking, but still no adaptive cruise control. Where the C-Max really falls behind is in its lack of a forward collision prevention system, a feature becoming standard in cars from all segments. The base model 2017 Ford C-Max SE Hybrid starts at $24,175, while the titanium trim goes for $27,175. I would opt for the C-Max Titanium, as it not only comes with Sync 3 standard, but also a robust Sony audio system. If I didn't care as much about stereo quality, I would go with the base SE trim and add the $1,200 201A equipment group, which adds a non-navigation version of Sync 3. That gets me the 8-inch touchscreen along with Apple CarPlay, which I would rely on for navigation and other features, at a cost of $25,375. Ford also offers the C-Max Energy, a plug-in hybrid, at a base price of $27,120. As a plug-in, it can get significantly better fuel economy than the C-Max Hybrid depending on how frequently its battery gets charged. The C-Max Hybrid doesn't easily fit into the hatchback, wagon or crossover segments, making it a little hard to wrap your head around, but that shouldn't take it out of the running for consideration. It shares many similarities with the Kia Niro in size and shape, although Kia's new hybrid boasts better fuel economy but inferior power. Ford offers some nice features for the C-Max, but its lack of a forward collision prevention system or adaptive cruise control are two big strikes against it, and a sign that this odd little hatchback could use a big update.